Trinity Monday, we are switching it up a little bit and sitting in front of the tree. It just feels very fitting for December. So, update, bump day. I am now officially 22 weeks. That is so crazy. Am I? Am I 22 or 21 weeks? You guys. <laughs> Okay, yes, I just had to check. I am 22 weeks pregnant. That is crazy. Where is the time going? So 22 weeks and I'm feeling really great. Um, the only symptoms that have kind of, that we talked about last time is back pain. And it's just mostly when I sleep, like when I wake up my back, sometimes it's so sore I can't even roll out of the bed. It's pretty bad. And then pelvic pressure is just getting more and more <laughs> intense, which I'm like, I've got a ways to go. So I hope this is an increase. I've heard that you can get pillows as well as going to your chiropractor. So hopefully when I stop slowing down and stop traveling so much and working, I'll have time to go to the chiropractor because it's one of those things where it's like, you gotta fit it in. So 22 weeks, baby boy is the size of a papaya. He is um, 11 inches and 15.2 ounces or will break over the one pound marker, which is crazy to think because the baby is weighing now more than a pound and is a size of like, if you think about it like a ruler, about that curled up inside of my belly. So another symptom that I've really been experiencing a lot lately is forgetfulness and like absent-mindedness and I feel like my brain just isn't working as fast as I want it to. And when I was reading my update on the Nurture, on the Glow, um, on my phone it was saying that that's like one of the key signs at this point in your pregnancy and then Jackson the other day was reading this like article the scientific article saying that women's brains shrink anywhere from four to eight percent which is crazy I'm like see it's not my fault I'm not making things up pregnancy brain really is a thing but that's like one thing I've really noticed is like I will be doing something and I'm like what am I doing or I just cannot remember anything. Like as I was like, am I 21 or 22 weeks? I can't remember. So yeah, officially 22 weeks, losing my mind, back pain, all the pelvis pressure. But other than that, everything has been really great and I feel super blessed. So not a ton of updates. This week we do get to go to the doctor again and he is going to give us another ultrasound just because baby boy wasn't, um, moving or he was too close to my spine he was moving sorry see again my brain he was too close to my spine and he wasn't moving in the right way for the ultrasound tech to get a great picture of his heart so they really want to get a picture of his heart this ultrasound which i'm excited about so any excuse to see my baby boy so we'll have to keep you guys updated on that also on our what's up woods family channel we are revealing our name, our baby's name, tomorrow. So you guys are going to have to head over to What's Up Woods and make sure you watch there because we finally decided, we're like, why not? Let's just tell the world we've settled on the name, we're calling him by that, like we feel good about it. So tomorrow on What's Up Woods, we're doing a name reveal. So it says not that much is changing or has changed. Um, I'm just gonna go straight into some Q and A, some Twitter, since we didn't do that last Monday. So here we go. Okay, first question comes from at Emmy Mata. She asks, have you thought of any names? Yes, we just went over that going up on What's Up Woods tomorrow, so stay tuned. At Liz Grace asks, how many different, or how different is this pregnancy compared to your first one? I don't remember being this sore or this like hard for my body to carry the baby, as in the pelvis pressure and the back pain. Um, and I'm just really feeling like the more that I move and like stretch, like I don't remember it being this hard with Cooper. Also, I was really young, I was like 21. So with this baby, I'm really feeling that and I think that's just maybe a sign of being older and pregnant, but really um, not too much difference. At Abigail Dermas, Dermas asks, are you emotional in this pregnancy? Yes, but not like crazy. I remember when I was pregnant with Cooper, I would watch like those animal shelter commercials and just cry. And I really felt like the highs and lows with Cooper when I was pregnant and a little more stressed out. With this baby, I actually just feel really happy and almost overwhelmingly happy where I get like not sad, but cry. Um, but I mean, hormones is just a thing and it happens with anything when we have a hormone like situation with periods, postpartum, when we're pregnant, um, going through menopause, all of those things. So yeah, I guess you could say I'm emotional. Um, 
At McKinney asks, what foods are you craving during this pregnancy? Well, nothing actually super crazy in the second trimester. The first trimester, I really wanted sweet things like grape juice and strawberry milk and just like random things. But now it's, you know, back to the normal things I would eat. Um, one thing that I have been having a lot more of is apple juice. So maybe we could say I've been craving apple juice. Okay, at Paige Wood asks, has Jackson felt the baby kick yet and what foods are you wanting to eat? So we just talked about foods, but I'm feeling the baby every single day, multiple times throughout the day, not just at night or in the morning. It's like now picking up throughout the day. Um, and he's, our baby boy is so shy. Every time I put Jackson's hand on my belly, he'll maybe feel like he's felt it maybe a couple, a handful of times, but usually that's when the, our little one is like, mm, I'm being shy, I don't wanna do anything. So it's always like, I always grab Jackson's hand, I'm like, feel it, feel it, he's gonna kick, he's gonna kick right here, and then nothing will happen. So we've been lucky a couple of times, and I think every time Jackson's just kinda like, oh yeah, that's cool, but I don't think it's really like, freaked him out or blown him away yet. So we're waiting for like that good hard kick where he's like, oh my gosh, that was our baby. Um, at Claudia McAvoy asks, what will your nursery theme be? So we're going, I think, I can't decide. I'm like on two totally ends of the spectrum. One part of me wants to go with all really natural, like whites and creams and beiges and just keep it really natural and kind of like, um, like a rocking chair and a, I don't know, like just old fashioned, like kind of pottery barn kind of. Then the other side of me wants to kind of go more like rustic woods and modern and do like navy blue, army green, white and silver and do like shiplap on the wall with like gray and white and blue wood and kind of do really cool edgy sides. So I don't know, I'm trying to decide between the two and I haven't totally decided. So we have a couple of months for that. Um, at Sid asks, is there any qualities that Jackson has that you would like to see in the baby? Yes, everything. Um, I love how passionate and smart Jackson is about continuing his knowledge. He's constantly reading books about helping him to understand and deepen his knowledge and love for the world and evolution and people and why they are the way they are. And I think it's cool um, how passionate he is just about always continue to kind of like better himself in his knowledge. I love how tender hearted he is and how he's so willing to communicate and compromise and work on the relationships that matter to him. I've never met anybody in my entire life who will work through relationships and like problems and situations with me the way that he does. And he's so passionate and patient and loving and understanding that I'm like, I really hope our baby boy is just like you in those aspects because it makes it so much easier for me to deal with. Um, but really I could go on and on. I also he hope he has Jackson's lips and eyelashes and eyes, eyeballs and his dark hair. I just think blue eyes and dark hair is like all the perfect. Um, at Courtney asks, how do you think Amigo and Diego will behave once you and Jackson bring the baby home? Will they be good with a newborn? I'm a little bit interested to see how the dogs are going to act. They're really great around kids. They just get really excited, especially Diego. I mean, Amigo was the same way with Cooper, but as Cooper or D Amigo got older, he kind of mellowed out. Now if like Dax or Brock come over, Diego is like fascinated with them and just wants to jump on them and lick them and be right in their faces. So I know that they're very loving and I know that they wouldn't intentionally hurt the baby, but hopefully it's gonna give Diego more time to grow up by the time April comes and he will mellow out just a little bit and they'll just be excited and see our love and how we treat the baby. I think dogs pick up on that and they'll kind of do the same thing, but finger crossed they behave themselves. Um, at Rachel asks, will there be a labor slash birth vlog? Yes, yes, and yes. I'll probably be giving birth and then editing and uploading the next day just because it will be so exciting. And I think I'm gonna have a couple cameras in the room. One, from my point of view, I'm gonna be vlogging. Jackson will obviously help with that a little bit. And then I have like Kaylee or Colette or my mom or Jackson's mom, someone in the room who has a camera who can capture that moment just when they hand you the baby, Jackson's face and my face, and we're also gonna have a photographer in there. It kind of seems like a lot, like thinking about it, because it is such a personal time, but I feel like those are the best moments you want to capture. Also because 
as a mom, after giving birth, you're not gonna remember all those small details and everything you just went through. So you're gonna wanna capture that on camera or through a photo, which I didn't get to do with Cooper. So I'll be excited to do that this time. Mr. Diego is sitting right by me. Hi, Mr. Diego. Um, will the name begin with C like yours and Cooper's or J like Jackson's? Actually neither and you guys stay tuned tomorrow on what's up woods because we're going to be revealing that to you guys at Erica asks who do you think the baby is going to look more like I don't know that's so hard I just hope it's a great combination I mean obviously I want him to look more like Jackson so he looks as handsome as his daddy I don't know what he would get from me that would help him as a boy I think Cooper has like my facial features and I don't know He's maybe look like me. my hair color <laughs> but we're trying to decide um, okay, at Alyssa, what is the hardest thing to do while being pregnant? Tie your shoes. Bending down and doing anything below the waist, really hard to do. Last but not least, at Ellie Mae asks, will you and Jackson be going on a baby moon? I want to take Cooper and Jackson to go do something fun, but it's really hard because all the warm places have Zika scares right now. And so maybe we might do something in Hawaii, like at the end of January, 1st of February but we haven't decided. I think that'd be really fun for the three of us just to get away and have one little family trip before baby boy comes. But also we've been doing so much traveling, I can't imagine squeezing one more thing in right now. So who knows, maybe we'll just go take a weekend together somewhere and stay in a really nice hotel and go swimming and watch movies. We're pretty lame, we're really laid back. We like just being at home, watching movies on the couch, having good food, and other than that, like, we're not super crazy adventurous. I have a suggestion to go in Hawaii. It's in Hawaii. It's called Maui. <laughs> Cooper wants to go to Maui. <laughs> I love his random appearances. So anyways, you guys, thanks for hanging out on Maternity Monday. Sorry it seems really rushed. I'm trying to get this video edited and up because Cooper and I are flying out to California tonight. And I have to catch a flight and finish folding laundry and packing all before we go. You know, mom life. So thanks for watching Maternity Monday and hanging out. If you guys have any questions or comments you wanna leave for next Monday, please feel free to do that and we will see you next time. Can you say bye? Say bye to the girls and the people. So thanks for watching Maternity Monday. <laughs> thanks for watching my mommy. I love her, I love her, I love her. Oh yes, you're so nice, she loves me. <laughs>